Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Melton Mowbray. He's 21 years old, stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 66 kilos. He fights out of hard knocks, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Kev Flanagan! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Burton-on-Trent. He's 24 years old, stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, and weighed in at 65 kilos. He fights out of Burton Grindhouse, and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one loss. Let's hear it for Tez, the Swagger, Aroga! Right, so the last of our C-class bouts, we have Kev Flanagan from Hard Knocks Gym in the blue corner. Flanagan's got the red shorts. Tez Wogan, Wogan from Burton Grindhouse, was in the red corner. He's now got the white shorts, and we're off to an explosive start, Ben. Both firing shots in the body, and like I say, the last one under these rules, so the headshots will come in after this bout onwards. But that's a great attempt for a takedown from Wogan as he grabs that single, and he's looking to push forward. But as we see with the featherweight fighters, who said all night long, really, the smaller these fighters get, the more explosion that they've got in that technique. They are, they're like little terriers. And uh, we know from uh, Wogan's previous experience, he's very, very keen on takedown. So I'm not surprised to see him launch straight out for a takedown. What I am surprised, I mean, I'm not surprised. Flanagan's taken top control from that takedown. He's got a very good, a very good control point. Is he going to turn this into a submission? Of course, like he has got a basic front headlock control point there. And he's pushing all his weight down. I mean, con control primarily, but we have seen fights finish from this position, obviously. Famously, remember Matt Hughes choking out Ricardo Almeida with that unbelievable front Absolutely. headlock back at the UFC. So, I mean, there are submissions open in this position. It, it does look very deep. We can see referee Leon Roberts having to walk around and, and clapping his hands, not in appreciation, but to tell the, the fighters that he wants them to progress. Wogan getting his way back up to the feet, but his head's in a very unnatural position as they break. <laughs> Some nice stinging body shots coming in. I think he's hurt his man there. Wogan's backing up. Yeah, those were, those are some devastating shots from Kev Flanagan. They were massive. They're making the most of the weapons that he've got, obviously, under the C-class format. Well, right then. I think I think Wogan was hurt a little bit there. He's now gaining a bit of composure. He's on top. Flanagan's guard is wide open. Wogan doesn't seem to care nor want to do anything about it at the moment. He's content to keep his head down and throw a few shots. As we've seen before, he's got to keep those shots nice and short when the big looping punches come up from this position. The punches can't be to the head, so realistically, the, the longer you spend throwing that punch, the more you're putting that arm in a dangerous position. We've seen it many times before. The arm gets fired out in a big shot. You get it caught and you end up getting yourself tapped out. But that is effective strike in there from Wogan. Flanagan's guard still open. Logan not really looking to pass at this point, just posturing up, looking to land some shots if he can. This has been a real all action first round. And not long left of round one. Wogan does really look quite spent. Look at that, out of nowhere. And there's that arm. Out of nowhere. Flanagan shoots his hips up. It doesn't look like he's going to tap, but he's extended it now. Wogan having a good look at the referee, but there's the extension. There's just 10 seconds left. Can he hold on? This is dangerous when you hear those clackers and you're in an armbar. It's not the kind of submission that you can sit and ride out for the time. It really isn't. I mean, oh, very, very close there. That was an impressive armbar attempt from Flanagan. That, that came out of made, nowhere. That came out of nowhere. That actually made me leave my seat. I got that excited. So back in for round two. Kev Flanagan from Hard Knocks, based in Melton in the blue corner, red shorts. Tez Wogan from Burton Grindhouse, possibly the best named Jim here tonight. In the red corner, white shorts. From Wogan's point of view, you've got to wonder what toll that took on that arm. Is he going to be hanging a bit heavier? Because that was a ferocious armbar that he had on. He, he did well to survive that, he really did. He looks fresh, he looks a different man in this round. You made a very good point as you hear those clackers go at the end of the round and armbar is not really the, the kind of submission where you want to chance it and hold yourself on there. 
I don't know about you, Ben, but I want to see Kev Flanagan fight headshots because that was a massive barrage of shots. Thrown some really good shot, big uppercut that he just missed there, actually. So Wogan defending the head control by grabbing Flanagan's right leg. It's effective. He can reverse this into a into a trip takedown. Well, I say takedown. They're on their knees already. But no, Flanagan has sprawled very nicely, using his height advantage, pushing his hips deep into the mat, sinking that forearm into Wogan's throat. It's very tight from this position. Oh. It's very hard to see, but it does look like he's got a lot of leverage there, as we can just see. That of Wogan, he just see more right. He's able to breathe there, but for a second, that looked incredibly tight. And his posture told a different story as he was almost slumped there on the canvas. He was. I swear, I almost saw Wogan's hand think about moving. Um, clearly not. He's repositioned now. But that did look very uncomfortable. The referee Leon Roberts again trying to push the pace. He will be advising both fighters that they're not. Doesn't and want to see any stalling. There's the guillotine. And there's the guillotine choke. If he can step through and maybe get the guard as he's done there. Beautiful. He's locked that through. That is a very tight guillotine. That is a tight looking guillotine choke. For, for our American viewers, there's a tight guillotine. And that's a Fantastic. What a very, very good win there. What I like from Flanagan. Flanagan's point of view is he set that guillotine up when they were both standing up and then just jumped back to his guard and locked that in perfectly. A great submission. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Let's hear it from the fighters. Come on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 36 seconds of round number two, your winner due to a tap out by guillotine choke from the blue corner, Kev Flanagan. Well, let's hear it for a very gallant runner up. Let's hear it for Tez Wogan. MBE. Sir Tez.